Today we're going to talk about how to use the login system we created in the previous episode in order to change up some of the content we have inside our website here. Now, as you guys can see, we do actually have the login field at the very top here. We also have a message that tells us if we're actually logged in or not. And the next step would actually be to change up some of the content we want to show if we're logged in and then tell it not to show it if we're not logged in. Now, there's a difference though, because the comment section down here where we can actually type stuff and actually submit it is a lot easier to change than the buttons we have down here where it says delete and edit because the comment section just needs to show if you're logged in. So if there's any kind of ID inside our session, then it needs to show it. Whereas the buttons down here needs to only show if there's a session ID inside the session and it matches up with the user who actually posted that specific comment. So in this episode, we're just gonna focus on changing up this text area here in order to make it match You know, if you're logged in or not. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our code and we're actually gonna to go to our index.php file and go down to where we actually wrote the message that tells us if we're logged in or not. Because essentially we're gonna do the exact same thing here with our comment area. So I'm gonna copy this, go down to my form text area. This is actually the one we type in when we want to write a post. And we're gonna go ahead and paste in our if statement right below our PHP opening tag. So what we need to do now is we're gonna go ahead and copy our entire form that we have down there and then delete it. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in between where we say, if we do actually have a session set, echo this down here. And we're just gonna paste it in, like so. Now, if we're not locked in, we need to come up with some other kind of message. Right now it says you are not locked in because we actually copy pasted, but we could actually write that you need to be logged in to comment. Now, I would like to discuss doing this method that we just did here, where we simply said you had to be logged in or not, um, because we could essentially also have another form down here, where when you start writing in it, and then you submit the actual posts, then it's gonna come with an error message saying, oh, you have to be logged in before it can actually post. Now. Doing it that way is possible because we could essentially, when we hit the submit button, save the information of what the person actually wrote inside the text area. And then when we send him back to the front page, then re-enter the same text inside the text area. Because if we don't do that, then he's gonna lose all the text he just spent time writing. Maybe he didn't even realize that he wasn't locked in. So from a usability point of view, that doesn't seem like a very good idea in my head. So that's why I recommend doing it this way, where we actually just give them an error message saying you have to be logged in in order to comment, which is also a lot quicker to actually do. So there's some good sides to doing it this way. So if we go back to the website, let's actually make sure we actually saved everything. I did refresh the website. Well, we do actually need to reset. There we go. And now I can actually see down here, we have a message that says you need to be logged in in order to comment. Um, but it's right now floating to the right side, which we need to fix as well by inserting a break. Um, but right now, because we're not locked in, it's showing this. Let's actually go ahead and fix the, the floating thing. So if we go back into our code, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a break right after the iframe. Let's actually insert two. And the same thing below. Let's actually do that inside here. There we go. Refresh, and as you guys can see, now the text is down here instead. Now, if we do actually go up and log in, so our username was admin, our post password was one, two, three. If I log in, you can see now it actually shows the comment area, which is quite nice. So that's basically how I need to do this. And it's not really difficult to do, as you guys can see. And if you have any kind of content inside a website that needs to change if you're logged in or not, this is the way to do it. So it's very simple to do. And like I said, some information that needs to be shown on the website if you're logged in, let's say you have a user page of the user when he's actually logged in, that specific user's information and you know thumbnail or you know profile image, that sort of thing, needs to be connected to his actual user account. Meaning that we need to do the same thing in order to fix that as we would need to do down here where we have the delete and edit buttons. 
So that we're going to talk about how to do in the next episode. And then after we're done doing that, I think we'll start talking about how to actually reply to other posts that you haven't actually written yourself. So that's basically it for today. It's a really short episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.